A violent night in Cincinnati. One dead, seven others also shot in the span of several hours. And one of the wounded was a three-year-old boy. He was shot in the leg in a drive-by shooting on Hewitt in Evanston. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us live from District 2 Police Headquarters with the very latest. Joe? Well, Cammie, we're told the little boy's injuries are not life-threatening, but the wounds to two of the men shot in Evanston last night are, according to police, serious. Now, police and neighbors say someone simply opened fire on a peaceful get-together, a bunch of neighbors cooking out and listening to music. Last night at 8.30, the corner of Hewitt and Fairfield was packed. The grills were fired up. We talked to 5,200 people. This street, you could get this excuse, barbecue, you couldn't even get by. Phelps says the three-year-old boy was near the corner, having fun in a friendly crowd. He was right there dancing. Next thing we know, I heard some gunshots. Bow, 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 around. Couldn't be numerous. Cincinnati police say as many as 10 shots may have been fired into the crowd by a dark car that sped down Hewitt. Neighbors say they fired shots for about half a block. The little boy was hit in the leg. Four adult men were wounded. All were driven to hospitals. Police don't know if anyone was targeted, but the report says the shooting was gang related. The drizzly morning after, Hewitt and Fairfield was peaceful. Neighborhood activist and peacekeeper Reverend Peterson Mingo could only shake his head. It had to be somebody who was totally irresponsible, somebody who didn't care about themselves, didn't care about nobody else. They didn't care if that was a three-year-old. They didn't care if it had been an 80-year-old. They didn't care if it was a baby in diapers. They came around the corner carelessly shooting. And there's something wrong with an individual uh, who can do something like that, 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 that callous, that uh, unfeeling, uh, just to shoot up a bunch of people. Mingo says he has no idea what sparked the shooting, if it was a beef between two people or two groups. But what he does know is someone fired into a crowd of people cooking and having fun. And we're just thanking God right now that nobody was, was murdered, nobody was killed. There's not going to be a family right now making funeral arrangements because of what had happened yesterday. Now, Cammie, we were not able to track down the little boy's mother today, but women who live in the neighborhood say the bullet grazed his leg. He is expected to make a full recovery. Reporting live in Hyde Park, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Cammie? Yeah, thank goodness. Joe, thank you. The shooting on Hewitt took place at about 8.30 last night, and by early this morning, there had been eight shootings, including a murder in College Hill.